This is Sharon's first one for the session. So the arm pulls through while breathing. You're not getting the timing on the arms quite here, so you're not getting as much glide, and your hand is continuous through the front. You've got a nice roll. And your legs are going to be giving you a little bit of drag. And here's the update. This really looks nice. Just getting that arm relaxed and in front, you're not over rotating as much. Really nice arm position. When you're holding it out there, I want you to think of that catch. So you need to scoop and allow that elbow to bend. Legs are up, tie to your kick. Really nice, lots of distance per stroke here. And above the water. So you can see with your low arm position that you're pushing water forward with your form well with your upper arm. So as you come in close, you're just sending a wave ahead of you as you go into the water. So this is going to slow you down significantly. So by getting a higher elbow and allowing that hand to enter the water and the elbow to follow it in, you're going to get a clean entry without that wave pushing forward on you. So here's the updated video. So slightly higher elbow. I still want you to to work on this more, that you have that low hand, high elbow, so that as the hand enters, that elbow is high enough that it's just going to slip right into the same spot. But right now, this is a really good improvement. And from the front. So you can see how you're overreaching with your shoulders here. And it's kind of making you move a little zigzaggy in behind. So by just relaxing that back a bit, you can just extend your elbow without reaching to change your body line. So in the updated video, you're getting into that nice, easy extension. Now you're not changing the body line any. And again, you're going for more, to, more of a straight arm catch. Let's just work on the catch. Good job. 